Hi, Huckleberry here, and today I'm going to show you how to maximize your internet speed. We'll take a look at your cable modem configuration to make sure that it's optimized. Often, the cabling itself to the cable modem can have small problems that causes your speed to be slower than it should be, or causes occasional uh, intermittent behavior. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check out your modem for these problems and how to fix them if necessary. So right now you can see that I'm on the uh, Cox website and I wanted to show you which plan I have. It's actually this one right here, this Cox Internet Preferred. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that uh, this is uh, up to 50 megabits per second download and up to five megabits upload speed. So next thing I'm going to do is we'll go to the speedtest.net website and see how close our actual speed is compared to what I'm paying for. So we go to the speedtest.net. Basically, that's uh, that URL right there. And uh, click on begin test. Now what this is going to do is it's going to give you a pretty accurate picture for the, for the moment, at least, for right, right at this moment, how fast your speed is. Now, if you have multiple computers on your uh, LAN at this time, that can affect this. So you're going to get the best results here if you only have one computer uh, on your LAN at, at, at a time. So you, you might want to try this. Otherwise, those are going to be taking bandwidth and you're not going to get an, ac an accurate result. So let's see what we get here. It should be almost finished. Okay, so there is our, uh, uh, th there's our results there. And we can see that we're getting a little less than 30 megabytes, uh, or should I say megabit, uh, download speed and about uh, seven upload speed. So what you can see is we're getting a little bit faster than 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 what I'm actually you know the up to speed that I'm paying for, which is uh, uh, which is five megabits per second. But I'm getting quite a bit slower than the download speed of of fifty. I'm only get I'm only getting like maybe two thirds of that. So. That is very normal. Now, I can tell you that my, uh, my modem and everything is already optimized, so you should not expect to, to get the, the speed that, that they quote. Remember, they say up to. So you, sometimes you might get faster than, than, this, than the 29, but certainly uh, you should not expect to get the full speed that they say that you can get up to. So next, we're going to do a we're going to do a ping test to look for any latency in our internet connection. So what you can see here, I'm doing a ping minus T, 192.168.100.1. Now that is a valuable IP address to know because that's the standard IP address of your cable modem. So I'm going to go ahead and start a series of pings and we can watch this go. And Ping minus T means it's going to go over and over until you until you say Control C. So let's go ahead and just let this run like a little bit. And control C to stop it. And what do you see here? You see it's nice and clean uh, because this is actually measuring the cable that goes from my modem inside to this particular computer. Okay, notice that this particular, I'm only getting like about um, one millisecond of uh, latency. You see here, the time is one millisecond of latency. And that is very, very clean. You see how steady it is? Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do another ping. This time I'm going to ping 8.8.8.8 which is Google's DNS server. It really doesn't matter what you ping, but I want to ping something that's reliable, that's out on the internet. So this is, this is my overall latency from my computer all the way out to the internet. And what you can see is I'm getting around, 
you know, 20 milliseconds and it's nice and clean. You see how nice and how it, it's how steady that is. I'm getting no drops and I'm not all of a sudden getting like 150 milliseconds and that kind of thing. So if I if I stop this, you can see nice and, how nice and clean that is. That means I have very little latency. Now what you're looking for here is really anything less than 100 milliseconds would be considered acceptable, although that's not very good. Um, anything under 40 is generally pretty good. And what you also want to look for is its steadiness. So if you had 50 milliseconds, 50 milliseconds, 50, then 250 or a drop even, then that means you have latency and that means that you have to look to see what, uh, you know, what might be going on. But in my case, this is nice and clean because I've already optimized uh, everything. Now here you can see that I've logged into the cable modem itself. And once again, remember that the cable modem IP is 192.168.100.1. And that's pretty standard. I, I, I don't know if it can vary at times, but in general, that's what, that's what it'll be. So then what you do is you go to the signal tab, and then you want to make sure that these signals are in uh, are within specification. So the first thing we look at here is the downstream power level, and you can see that I have a value of nine right here. Now, uh, for the downstream power level, anything up to uh, anything up to ten is considered acceptable. Um, anything higher than 10 uh, would be considered out of spec. Actually, you can fifth, up to 15 is, is out of spec, although it's, uh, although something like 14 would not be very good. Now the absolute optimal would be like uh, slightly lower than this, but this is, but this is okay at nine. Next we look at the QAM. This should say QAM256. If, it's, if it says anything lower, like QAM64 or QAM16, uh, then that indicates you have a problem. This means that it's, act, that it's operating at the fastest uh, speed that, you can, that it can. And next we look at the downstream signal-to-noise ratio. And we see here that I have a value of 37. There, um, from 33, or anything 33 or higher is considered fine. If it's uh, below that, then it indicates you have a problem. Okay, the next thing that we want to look at is upstream transmit power. And that's right here. So you can see that the upstream transmit power that I have is a 44. And the spec for this is anything between 35 and 49. So you can see that mine looks, it looks pretty good here. So if you see that you're out of spec on any of these specifications, then likely there's a cabling issue that's going to your modem. So the thing is that you don't even know how many splices and connections they've made to get from, you know, to get into your house from the street. Mm -hmm. And if there are a lot, then it can, it can affect your performance quite a bit. This is a very, very common thing, so something that you, you want to be aware of. So if you are seeing something out of, out of spec, uh, and, it, and it's, you know, then you're going to find that you're probably getting slower intermittent downloads. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is verify that the cable between the wall jack and your modem is okay. Other than that, this is a cable uh, company issue and you're going to have to have them come down to, uh, to get this fixed. But if you can show them exactly what uh, what needs you know exactly what's out of spec then they should be able to come in and get this fixed up for you uh, pretty quickly this is the end of this video this has been Huckleberry I hope you enjoyed it 
Please, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Thank you. I hope you'll uh, watch future videos and subscribe.